Software Piracy Software piracy is the illegal copying, distribution or use of software. Software piracy causes significant lost revenue for publishers, which in turn results in higher prices for the consumer. When you purchase a commercial software package, an End User License Agreement or EULA is included to protect that software program from copyright infringement. Typically, the license states that you can install the original copy of software you bought on one computer and that you can make a backup copy in case the original is lost or damaged. Software piracy applies mainly to full-function commercial software. The time-limited or function-restricted versions of commercial software called shareware are less likely to be pirated since they are freely available. Similarly, freeware, a type of software that is copyrighted but freely distributed at no charge, also offers little incentive for piracy. Types of software piracy include Soft lifting Borrowing and installing a copy of a software application from a colleague. Client server overuse Installing more copies of the software than you have licenses for. Hard disk loading Installing and selling unauthorized copies of software on refurbished or new computers. Counterfeiting Duplicating and selling copyrighted programs. Online piracy Typically involves downloading illegal software from peer-to-peer -peer network, internet auction or blog. Intellectual property rights Intellectual property rights refers to a person's claim on something that they have written, invented, recorded or otherwise own. Any violation of these rights can be viewed as theft. Violations include, but are not limited to, the downloading or duplicating of any copyrighted digital media, that is, music, movies, or software, without proper consent and plagiarism of any kind. It would be in your best interest to avoid these violations at all costs, as many of them are not just immoral but also illegal. The Ten Commandments of Computer Ethics 1. You should not use a computer to harm other people. 2. You should not interfere with other people's computer work. 3. You should not snoop around in other people's computer files. 4. You should not use a computer to steal. 5. You should not use a computer to bear false witness. 6. You should not copy or use proprietary software for which you have not paid without permission. 7. You should not use other people's computer resources without authorization or proper compensation. 8. You should not appropriate other people's intellectual output. 9. You should not think about the social consequences of the program you are writing or the system you are designing. 10. You should always use a computer in ways that ensure consideration and respect for your fellow humans. Unethical Practices and Risk on Internet Chatting If your internet works through a telephone line, it could lead to chat addiction. For utilizing the facility of chat, follow these etiquette. Do not hurt others' feelings and respect the user on the other end. Do not fix any meeting with any stranger. Type the answer only after carefully reading the incoming messages.
keep your message short and to the point email bombing it refers to the sending of large number of mail to a victim which result into crashing online gambling there are several sites on the web which allow people to gamble with real money or just for fun crime using computer stealing laptop containing owner's information on its hard disk is same as stealing briefcase that contains papers of owner's information using others computers may also be another way of stealing valuable documents as well as transcripts unauthorized changing of data example changing an official record of a student's work and school transcript the criminal reads or copies confidential information but data is neither deleted nor changed